It's quiet. Still, make sure to stay cautious. It's where the Alpha and AT buy is. Now, get ready. I'll be supporting with the drone. So this must be 8 or 7. Yes. This was the final battlefield of civilization. It was also known as a truly colossal city. Something is falling from the sky. A strange sensation. This must be Earth's rain. We can admire the scenery later. We have a job to do here. What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing. From here on, you have to stay alert, Eve. Adam? Yeah? About yesterday. Thank you for saving me. It's nothing, really. Though I have used up almost all of the exospine materials that I collected over the years. Oh. It's all right. It now means we can help each other. We can track down the Alpha Nativa together. And, well, I'd have trouble making it out here by myself anyway. If you can locate the Hall of Records, you'll have done more than enough. Listen, don't worry. I promise, I'll make sure to repay you. So just to recap, you were in that hideout waiting for another squad to arrive for almost two years? And then you met us. Yes. Thank you so much for saving me. I've been waiting a long time for the next squad to come in. It's been really lonely here. It's really lucky we were able to find you when we did. Eve, you're from the Airborne Squad Assault Force, right? Yes. Then I can be your engineering support. Of course, I will need proper equipment first. Equipment? Hmm. Well... I did want to say something earlier. What is it? Actually, there's a city where other survivors, besides me, live. What? Really? It's called Zion, humanity's last city. If we go there, there might be people that can help us. I have a safe house with some equipment I bet you would want. Then let's head there quickly! Before that, I would like to ask you something. Currently, Zion is holding out under the guidance of Oracle, who is also our spiritual leader. It's complicated. Eve, I imagine completing your mission isn't any easier having lost your comrades. So, please, help me save Zion. If you do, I promise Oracle and I will do everything we can to help you on your mission. It's about joining forces and helping each other, just like we did before. Sound good? Hmm. 
I'm a little unclear of what I should be doing next. My objective is simply to defeat the Elden Atiba. But rescuing the survivors... Hey, why are you so worried? I mean, our ultimate goal is to save Earth and the future of humanity. So, we should all work together. As for me, I'm excited to see Zion. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that settles that. All right then, let's head to Zion. Surprising to see a city in a place like this. During its prime, over a hundred thousand people called it home. Obviously, now there are fewer. The place you see below is my safe house. The auxiliary engine's output is weak, so things can get bumpy. Hold on tight. city underneath the wasteland. It's amazing. Even in the darkest times, it's always safe to bet on human survival instinct. So, where do we go? No time for breaks. Typical Eve. Oracle is in the presence chamber. Follow me. Whoa, this place. This is where the memories are kept, right? You've got a keen eye. That's right. The presence chamber is where memories are stored. The memories of those who couldn't make it back to Mother Sphere. Over here. Oh. I see we have guests. Welcome. Let me start the introductions. This is Zion's prophet, Oracle. I'm Airborne Squad Member Eve. My name's Lily. Pleased to meet you. Adam has told me all about you. You defeated an Alpha Netiba. Could you show me anything it might have dropped? Here. Oh, it's an Alpha Core. Please, a moment. Your objective is to rid the world of the Elder Natiba, the leader of all other Natibas. Well, then I suppose you're trying to use the Alpha Core as a key to open the way forward to the nest. Is that right? How did you know that? Unfortunately, 
The nest cannot be opened with the Alpha Core alone. What? No way! But is... is there really no other way to reach the nest? By fusing four Alpha Cores together, you create something called a Master Core. Only with the Master Core will you be able to reach the very deepest corner of the nest. How... how do you know all this? Thanks to my personal link to the facility on the surface, I can search anywhere and everywhere on Earth. All I require is the right amount of energy. That would also mean you'd be able to track down the Alpha Natiba. That's enough for introductions. Adam, please insert the hypercell. Eve, here. Hey, Lily, this way. Oh, it's so dark. I really don't like the dark. This is the hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Eve, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here. Is this some kind of graveyard? No. The people here are in a deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Ave, please help us. Thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired, they're safe. For the time being. I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells, if the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. Ma. Outsiders, thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, the lives of tens of thousands of people have been extended. And my personal link is also stabilizing. That's great news! Does that mean we can figure out the location of the Alpha Natiba now? All the Elder's energy is still being directed at maintaining the Cradle. Who... who are you? Oh. This here is Man, a Sentinel Commander. He also serves as Oracle's bodyguard. My skills are still limited, shall we say. So I am not yet able to reach new areas. However, with the power of more hypercells, I'm certain I can track the location of the Alpha Natiba. That's why I'll have to ask you for a little more help. Altus Lavoir. A place out in the wasteland, a ruin of the past. Can we count on you to retrieve another hypercell from there? Eve, I'm sure it'll be of help. Yes. We have no other choice. Adam, Lily, I'll be counting on you. It won't be easy. Make sure to be well prepared. Oh, I 
feel better now that we're outside. <laughs> Things can get pretty intense in the presence chamber. Yeah, that scary looking guy wouldn't stop staring at me. I know he doesn't look it, but he's friendlier than you'd think. I have to finish the maintenance on the tetrapod before we leave. Ava, can I ask you for a favor? I ordered a propulsion control board from a parts store called Sister's Junk. Can you go pick up the order and meet me back at the safe house? Feel free to look around the city while you do. Okay. I'm going to borrow Adam's workshop for a bit. I want to tinker with the drone. All right. Let's all finish what we have to do and meet back at the tetrapod. in front of you. <laughs> the drone is different. Yes, this is no longer the drone you knew. It's an all-new, upgraded Drone 2.0 that can launch long-range projectiles. This is more than just an upgrade. It's an evolution! <laughs> now try hitting the target. That's amazing, Lily. Colony Tech at your service. What do you think? <laughs> Damn kid, tinkering with my drone. It'll be very useful for the mission. Thanks, Lily. Great. Let me know if you ever run out of ammunition. I brought back what you asked for. Here. Great work, Eve. How was your walk around the city? It looked a little sad. So much empty space. Anyway, let's go to the wasteland, Adam. Well, there are still some issues with the tetrapod steering system. So, I'm afraid we're not able to leave just yet. Then, when will you be ready? Unfortunately, it's going to take longer than a day. Then I'll go ahead on foot. You can use the drone to guide me. What? The wasteland is a lot bigger than you think. I can't just sit here and wait. In fact, I want to see the wasteland with my own eyes. <laughs> You're one of a kind, Eve. All right, I'll guide you with the drone. Eve, please be careful. Yes, thank you. The wasteland is that way. As expected, my eyes did not deceive me. Excellent work, Adam. I'll leave this one to you as well. Let's go to the hyperdrive. Secondary drive energy injection. Initiating activation. Yes, what we're doing is really worth it. Once again, thank you. Now it's your turn. Wait, we will give you an answer. a sewage treatment facility and a train graveyard in the old city center. I am detecting the frequencies of an alpha nativa coming from Matrix 11. Matrix 11. 
I will forward the map data to the tetrapod. It will guide you as you attempt to travel to the Alpha Nativa's location. Thanks for helping us. It means a lot. None of this can compare to all that you have done for Zion, I assure you. <clears throat> I wish you luck. Eve, you're here. Look over here. What's this? Uh, this here is an Alpha Signal Meter. This device uses the subtle resonance from the Alpha Core to pinpoint its location. It can't reach a super long distance, but... You'll find it useful once you head over to the location Orkel told you about. Wow, good work. <laughs> You're gonna put me out of a job. I thought you were already out of a job. <laughs> you little brat. Thank you for helping me out all the time, Lily. And just one more. Can you turn around for me? Here. Done. What have you done, Lily? I customized the power distribution of the body cell. Doesn't your body feel lighter? Something does feel different. If you try jumping, I bet you'll notice the difference. <laughs> oh, you're here. I've been waiting for this. Are you ready to leave? All preparations are complete. Finally! Looks like the time has come to test out the Alpha Signal Meter. Yes, and if it functions as intended, things should be a lot easier. Alright, let me take you to Matrix 11. Airborne squad member who themselves became an Alpha Nativa. Is this the work of the Elder? Hmm. Could I take a look at her memory stick? Here. It feels different from the Elder Nativa. I can dimly make out the image of a Nativa bearing black wings. Black wings? It's the one that attacked Taki and me. It has to be. But why? I can feel the hatred, but I cannot feel the source. Why? Why does it hate us? It's not unusual for Nativas to find themselves at odds with humans. But this... Can you locate it? 
It is not yet within the scope of my personal link. The same goes for the other Elven Etiba. All right then. We'll need another hypercell. Where should we go this time? This time the hypercell is at the easternmost reaches of the desert, Abyss Lavoir. This one won't be easy either. Let's hurry. Uh, yes. Eve, Lily. I just realized we forgot about the legacy we retrieved at the Matrix. That's right! We left it in the Tetrapod! I'll go and get it. Great. Let's check it out. I'm worried about what this one is going to be about. Day 52, after the second dive. Fifth record. Legacy account, Raven. I am the lone survivor. The truth. The truth always lets me down. I have gathered a good amount of information from the lab's records and the memories of Legion soldiers. We've always followed the instructions of Mother Sphere to the letter. She was our guiding light, our salvation, our god. However, in truth, Mother Sphere was a powerful artificial intelligence created by mankind. In the distant past, there was an engineer named Raphael Marx. He was her creator. Mother Sphere brought great prosperity to mankind, but she seemed to have changed her mind upon the creation of Andro Eidos, her self-made counterpart. After seeing the limits of humanity and the potential of Andro Eidos, she decided there was no room to spare for mankind. Our god is not the god of humans. Then why? Why do we worship Mother Sphere? I don't know anymore. The more I learn, the more questions I'm left with. Everything puzzles me. Mother Sphere. A being that was created. With our own hands. But why would she want to destroy us? This information is full of errors. It's just not credible. Usually, things only exist because people make them. Like us. How dare you! That's blasphemy! Sacrilege! Uh, right. Sorry. But the truth doesn't need to be kind. Only true. The grace of Mother Sphere is a fiction. At least for the humans left here. Maybe you two will come to feel this way. What? Lily, Adam. This isn't the whole story. We don't even know if this is true. Ah, yes. You're right. We need more information. Adam. Please take me to Abyss Lavoir. Are you ready to leave? All preparations are complete.
Ah, damn it. Looks like the engine was damaged from all the sand. We'll have to walk from here. Are you okay with that, Eve? No problem. Please support me with the drone. All right. You can trust me. I'm here too. Don't you worry. You're here. Excellent work. Hey, Eve. I'll take care of the hypercell. Or call. I see you have something you'd like to ask me. Perhaps you came across the library at Lavoir. We would like to know the truth. Yes. It is a long, long story. We are certainly human, but this was not the case not too long ago. It is true that those who came before were responsible for the creation of Mother Sphere. The ones now referred to as the last surviving humans. They created us, the Androidos, through Mother Sphere, and for a time we lived in a kind of symbiosis with them. Then... we're androids. We were created. Then why... why did Mother Sphere... The reason is unknown. However, at some point Mother Sphere made a decision. Humanity's survival depended on a reorganization of the species. And that conflict led to war and the eventual extinction of the surviving humans. That can't be. The few who escaped destruction were scattered to the winds, but some managed to flee and find shelter in the ruins in Lavoir. It was originally a facility for the purpose of genetically evolving mankind. After all, lifespans of the surviving humans were very short. That facility was the birthplace of what we have come to call Natibas. The records in the legacy are all true. All this time we have been waging war on our own ancestors. Now, my personal link has extended to a fairly wide area. The next Alpha Natiba cannot be found here on Earth. So, what do you plan to do? Well, well that still doesn't change the fact that Natibas are our enemies. All right. If we've come this far, we have no choice but to reach the nest through the Master Core. Give me the coordinates of the Alpha Natiba. As you wish. When you return, I will tell you the rest of the story. Or perhaps it would be better to hear it straight from the Elder's mouth. Are you already prepared to leave? Mm-hmm. Just finished. And you, Lily? We're going to be so close to the colony. It's just a lot for me to process. There's no need to overthink it. Eve is the one going to space anyway. You and I will be waiting in the tetrapod. I know, but... Well, we'll see what she says. So physical distance won't really matter. Okay? Let's go. Eve, just a reminder. We're heading into space, so expect the journey to be a long one. You should try to take care of everything you need to in Zion before we leave. Adam, wait. Huh? What's going on? I have a request. There's somewhere I'd like to visit before we leave. Hmm? Where? Can we possibly make a stop at Ados 9? Please? That shouldn't be a problem. Can I ask why? There's a workshop there. A place that I was hiding in. There's something I really want to bring with me.
All right. If you really need it, Lily. Thank you. Swarming with aerial interception natives. Getting close is gonna be tough. Can't we make a detour or something? I think the other routes are the same. I'll go down and resolve this. I'll meet up when it's done. Goodness, it's full of plants and little birds. Welcome to Lily's Atelier. This is my favorite green garden. Have a look around. I'll just head over to the secret workroom in the meantime. Plants like these could grow in such a place. It feels different here. I can see how much Lily cares about this place. Yeah, I know. It's like a special haven for her. Shame this hasn't been shown to others. Are you done looking around? I should gather a few samples just in case. Sorry for leaving you all alone, Iberus. I'll come and visit you often. This contains a deep algorithm hacking system, along with Iberus's memories. This is what she left for the world. Her legacy. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Let's go now. Iberus. Goodbye. Nobody roams these lands free of suffering. Nobody. Not even Lily. You're right. Shall we get going then?
Are you saying that's where the Alpha Core is? Adam, are you listening to me? Oh, sorry. I got a message from Zion. Is everything all right? Something serious seems to have happened. I... I have to return to Zion. What? But we've come this far. Okay, I'll go on alone. If I were to go back to Zion now, there's no way to know how things will change. Eve. Drop me off, then head back to Zion. It's fine. I can do this alone. Wait. I think I have a really great idea. You could leave the drone operation to me. Adam can take the hover bike back to Zion while I operate. A perfect plan, right? Lily, not just anyone is able to operate drones. You need a wide field of view, the ability to make smart decisions fast, and... And the stabilizer, scanner, and link sensors do all the work for you. How... how did you...? I figured it all out while modifying the railgun. Went for some test drives, too. It still doesn't compare to the knowledge you gain from real experience. Do you agree with Lily's idea, Eve? Adam, you can trust us. Go. Okay, okay. Fine. You win. Don't overdo anything while I'm gone. I'm looking at you, Lily. I know this is a disappointment. I'm sorry, Eve. Everything that has happened until now, and even before, it began with me. I am the source of it all. Adam. Or would you prefer I call you Elder? What are you scheming? You pretended to rescue me. Pretended to help me on my mission. All under the guise of helping Zion. What are you really after? I want atonement. I want forgiveness. I want us to heal. Please know that everything I have done, I have done sincerely. Enough of this nonsense! My comrades! The people of Zion who trusted you! Tell me why they had to die! Eve... You... You have every right to be mad. I understand. Elder Natiba, you... Please, listen to me, Eve. First... I'm sorry for what happened between you and Raven. In the end, she had her own motives, and that way she was a lot like Oracle. As you've discovered, you were created by the surviving humans, to look and act like them. And us? 
We're nothing but monsters. Right from the start, we struggled to coexist. Of course we did. Because we Natibas were weak. We were not yet mature enough to fully accept your kind. This foolishness resulted in tragedy. In the end, we gave up our humanity in order to survive. Then you threw us out into space! Earth is too small for both our species to coexist. However, even if all the Natibas disappear, it's impossible for your kind to succeed the human race. After all, you were created entirely from scratch, with no human DNA at all. And what is it you're going to do? You think you're the one to end this gruesome slaughter? Yes. I've been researching for decades to find a way. A way for us all to become the inheritors of the human race. An Andro Eidos, with the most advanced unisonous hyperbody ever seen, and the ultimate Natiba that has not succumbed to its hostile instincts. These are the two necessary ingredients. You mean... Yes. You and I. We are what is needed. Eve, I offer you one last deal. Let us become whole. One being. A single, evolved human species. If we fuse together, we can truly become the seeds of a new human race. That, that's insane! There's no point in listening to this, Eve! At this rate, Mother Sphere will do the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't be surprised if she even destroyed the colony, and thereby Earth. As you know, she will not stop. But this is not the path that humans should take. But there's no proof that this fusion is the right path to take. Especially considering everything you've done. You're right, Lily. However, my wish to save the new humans and surviving humans was... is... sincere. As unbelievable as it may be. Lily, take this. But this is... This is the last hypercell needed to rebuild Zion. Zion can be saved no matter what choice Eve makes. It would mean so much if you could do this for me. Eve, your mission is to eliminate me. If you fuse with me, the Elder Natiba, as you know it, will cease to exist. Forever. Is there any better way to complete your mission? Eve. Take my hand. I can save you. We can save each other. We can save everyone.
purpose of our existence is to eliminate the Elder Naitiba and save mankind. Naitiba, or Andro Ados, is one more human than the other? If an entire species is wiped out so that another may remain, can we really call that salvation? But... but... If there is a way to save both species, I want to follow that path to the end. That's all I want. Yes. So do I. We're like mirrors to each other. Your choice may not bring about peace and stability right away, but our union will create the greatest chance for a peaceful future. Now. Yes. Are you Eve? Yes. Well, it's hard to describe, but... Lily, I am the Eve you remember. I was worried that you would become someone I didn't know. Lily. Connection to the colony. Sending protocol. Sensing from Nativa signals nearby. Switching to combat mode. Ah! <laughs> 